Hello everyone, welcome back. My name's Frank Pacheco. As you can tell by my five o'clock shadow, it's time for another episode of Quarantine's Conversations. This is the only program that travels to where you are to interview you to see how you're doing during this entire pandemic, all while abiding by social distancing guidelines. Currently on the 101, heading to the Santa Monica area to visit my buddy Josh. This is the first time I've traveled to Santa Monica in quite a while, so it'll be interesting to see what the roads are gonna be like. 5.20 in the evening, and it's smooth sailing so far. A little weird. Now I gotta make a phone call. Yo. Yo, buddy, I'm downstairs. Alright, right, this should be neat. Let's see how this goes. What's up, buddy? Yo, do you have your phone? Do you have your phone? Yeah. No, hold it up like you're gonna film this. See the way you can see me and you? Yeah. Now you hold up your camera phone and film you and me from the outside in. That's your camera angle. No, rotate it sideways. There you go. Now squat down so you can get down here. There we go, yeah. All right. This is Quarantine Conversations. I'm here with my buddy, Josh. That's your camera. Good. Josh, how you doing, man? What's that? <laughs> Excellent, this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> how are you doing? Oh man, I'm doing good. Just hanging in there day by day. How you doing? Hey, I'm, I'm doing good. Uh, so hey, so what do you do? What do I do? I'm a teacher. So uh, as of now, I'm teaching online and managing with all that craziness. This is gonna be kind of low key and just like very, very chilled out, okay? It's very low key and just chilled out. So I'm gonna ask you to some chilled out questions, okay? Oh uh, yeah. How do you think Trump's handling this? Um, <laughs> oof. Well, like political affiliations aside, I don't think this is handled very well. To say the obvious, we knew we could have handled it and took it seriously a while ago, but we didn't. So we're in the predicament that we are now, uh, especially with family and healthcare, it's a mess. All right, that was just a joke question, but good answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, so what's your TP situation? Oh, it's pretty good. I was able to stock up, but not like crazy stock up. So I am A-OK. -okay. Nice. Are you quarantined with anybody else? Yeah, so my, my friend's roommates were, were quarantined right now. Nice, any pets or anything? What's that? Any animals, pets? No animals, pets, nope. No? All right, cool. Well, do you want to comment on how it's going so far, living in close proximity again? There was there was a bus that passed by, so I heard none of what you just said. Sweet. <laughs> What's it like living in close proximity with everybody again? I mean, it's pretty chill. Everyone just does their own thing, and, and I just bought Mario Party. You know, so we have some games from time to time. Fine. It's just, uh, actually fine. Gotcha, man. All right. Well, when was the last time you were out in a very public setting? Can you repeat that? When was the last time you were out, like, grocery shopping or in public with people? When was the last time you did that? <laughs> I did that on, uh, oh man. I think Monday I went to Target to get my Nintendo Switch. That was the last time. That was crazy. I got my Switch and left. I was like, I'm out of this place. I'm gonna also switch legs. <laughs> oh, I, did, I did legs today, so I'm hurting. Oh, dude. So you got a Nintendo Switch. How can I join you in Animal Crossing? I have to get Animal Crossing first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, other than toilet paper or a whole lot of money, what do you wish you had to make this a whole lot easier? Would I wish what? Instead of, I'll just show them the questions. <laughs> oh, oh man, I got most of the stuff that I really need to make things easier. I wish I had more exercise equipment. And I got frozen foods and maybe more soup, I don't know. Are your parents handling this okay? Are they worried about you or anything? Are your parents worried? Uh, they're always worried. They're Jewish. <laughs> we talk like every other day, and they're in healthcare, so I'm always I'm more worried about them than they are of me. You're a huge fan of Borderlands Three. Yes. If there was a level named after you, what would it be called, and who would the boss be? 
Oh man. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to answer that one. That was, uh, my my borderland. The bad guys would be um, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavaliers, the, the year that they uh, they won the NBA championship. So I'll defeat them somehow in Borderlands. So that and on NBA Jam. There we go. So that, that'll be my level. Hold on. In Borderlands 3, there's going to be a Cavaliers. secret level where you infiltrate NBA jams and defeat the Cleveland Cavaliers. <laughs> Shut up, man. Quarantine's made me crazy. Well, that's okay. an oddly specific level. I like that a lot. Do you have any messages you want to give to anybody out there? Messages of hope. Oh, man. Ah. We're resilient and adaptive as a people. We'll, we'll, we'll make it through. It's, it, there's, there's always hope. I mean, there's the old saying that it's if... Uh, if all you look for is darkness, that's all you see. But if you look for the light, often you'll find it. And I think that's the same. It's a lot of darkness right now, but we just have to keep looking for the light no matter what's happening. Hey, I like that. That's a good place to end. Josh, thank you very much. We'll get some... There we go. Get a bit... There you go. Get a shot of that. I got it right here. Yeah. Love you, buddy. <laughs> all right, my man. I'll talk to you again soon.